All right. We're back with the Real House Kids of Bravo. Brianna, Shane, Brielle, Riley, Cairo, Noel, Gia, Frankie, Albie, and Chris, Avery, and Brooks. Um, okay, so let me, I, I have so many questions still for you all. I want to know what you're each doing right now, first of all. Brianna, wh what are you doing? Where do you live? What's happening? Just moved to Illinois last week. Um, I've been an ER nurse for 13 years now. Wow. And I have three kids. Wow, incredible. And how is Ryan? He's good. He's retired from the Marines. Wow, that's incredible. Do you have a proudest moment that you've witnessed of your mom on the Real Housewives of Orange County? Probably when she finally got away from Brooks. That was like the best moment of all of our lives. Has there been a moment that you that you uh, that made you cringe the most? Mm. Besides that lollipop Brooks. in the limo. That lollipop in the limo. Oh, the lollipop in the limo. The wiener. Yeah, that right. was right. disgusting. Yes. Um, <laughs> Shane, what are you up to these days? Uh, I live in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, I'm in real estate, and I have an environmental and sustainability agency, so we focus on how to make the world a better place. That's awesome, man. Did you Tell yeah. me about, now I know what Kara's doing, and how is Colton, what's he up to? Colton's uh, doing real estate. He works with my mom uh, down in Irvine, so uh, family business, I guess. That's great. And how far did you wind up going in your baseball career? Uh, I got to high A, so I was in uh, Northern California for a few years, but uh, we played the Cardinals organization a little bit. I don't know if you might know, but my grandfather was with the Cardinals organization for like 45 years. I did know that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. Just retired two years ago in mid his mid 80s. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. So are you a Cardinals fan, by the way? Uh, just kind of, uh, of course, just because he was always a part of it. I always kind of keep an eye on and then the, the Bush kind of whole, that whole atmosphere is always yeah. cool. Yeah. Brielle, um, I mean, your mom has had so many funny moments over the years uh, on TV. Do you have one that sticks out at you that's, that, that made you laugh the most? I don't know. I actually just started rewatching Real Housewives of Atlanta during quarantine because I've never seen any of the episodes. And probably the first episode where she's sitting there and buying clothes and saying she's going to die in Dior and goes and buys an Escalade and just says, thank you, Papa. So now every time me and my friends see her, we say, thanks, Papa. And she gets so mad. Oh, yeah, that's, that's hilarious. And what are you doing these days, Brielle? Um, I have our makeup line and we're about to start, I'm about to start my second company. That's just my company. So I'm really excited for that and just hanging out with my family and friends every day. So what was your most embarrassing moment of seeing your mom on the show? My moment or her moment? Hers. 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 I don't know. There's, there's, you know, you really can't pinpoint with that woman. There's a lot of things on there that... <laughs> make me cringe that woman uh <laughs> riley what are you up to these days did you just finish your are you just finishing your freshman year yes i moved to new york i am a freshman at nyu and i'm starting to focus more on youtube so that's that but i'm just chilling really and how are how are your grades how did you how did you do in the first year um i did pretty well good enough of course adjusting but I did pretty good. Um, and have you learned how to clean up after yourself? There was some concern before you left about that. Yeah, there is still some concern, but I just choose to spend a couple extra dollars to get someone else to do it. Okay. Very good. <laughs> um, next up, Cairo, did you, I mean, you were so, how old were you when you, when the show started? Were you like eight or something? I had to be eight. I have as long as time ago. And and did you watch those early seasons at all, or do you have no memory of them? I have very like selective memory. I remember a few scenes out of that few first few seasons. Um, and what are you up to these days? These days, I've been making music for a while. I just graduated from Morehouse last year, um, but I've been making music. I have one project out, but more should be coming this this summer. That's great. And where can people find the music you've made? Um, Spotify, Apple Music, 
any platform that releases music, really. All right. We're going to look for it. Uh, Noel, what are you up to? i am actually been blessed to be a part of a bunch of really big campaigns this year. One already came out for Shea Moisture. I have a couple more that are coming out very soon. I'm also doing YouTube and just like some influencer um, collaborations with different other brands. So I've been really working this year. I'm excited. That's great. Um, Gia, what about you? Oh, I am a sophomore at Rutgers University. I'm still pursuing my dream of becoming a lawyer, so that's really exciting for me. Um, I've definitely been getting a lot of more promotional deals and just hanging out with friends and family. I've been enjoying life. Is your pursuit of becoming a lawyer related to your parents' legal uh, journey? Absolutely. I'm in the Bahamas right now because of it. <laughs> right. You are... But no, but absolutely. I mean, their whole experience influenced me, honestly, for the better. I just want to help families and be able to be there for families and help children, honestly, especially. Frankie Jr., what's going on with you? So I'm graduating from college uh, this May from Sacred Heart University. I had an amazing four years there. And now I'm asset manager at a, a real estate company in New Jersey called Revolve Capital. Congratulations. And are you still competing in bodybuilding competitions? Still bodybuilding, uh, but I don't think I'm going to be competing anytime soon. All right. Chris and Alby, what's the name of the hotel you guys are running? Uh, it's the Berkeley in Asbury Park. And I need to know what's happening. Are you guys both, are you single or what? Um, first of all, I'm also bodybuilding, Andy, but we are, neither of us are single. Uh, we both have, uh, we both have pretty serious girlfriends and, um, Life is good. Although listening to all the other uh, all the other kids, I feel like we did it wrong. They all have way more interesting stuff going. On. <laughs> but we're doing the restaurant thing. We're busy as hell. We're, we're doing good. Um, Avery, uh, what about you? Are you working for Cameo, Avery? Yes. Yeah, so I actually just made a switch after leaving finance for four years, um, working for Cameo, doing sales. So Andy, we got to bring you back on. I know. And I was it's remote. And it's remote forever. So I literally, Coco 17 now, and we get to hang out every day, and that's why I think she's still kicking. What that dog has been through on The Real Housewives, it's, it's incredible. <laughs> I'm excited that we see Coco. So Brooks, are you going back to school, or, or what's happening with you? Yeah, so I'm back at school at uh, NYU, and I'm working on my clothing line as well. Very good. Congratulations. So I want to know, raise your hand if you, you have a line that your mom said on the Housewives that still makes you laugh today. Um, Gia. Ha ha, laugh, get it, funny. <laughs> Avery. <laughs> Um, either calm down, take a Xanax, or if you don't like me, acquire some taste. Uh, Cynthia, I mean, Noel. <laughs> now what else is going on? Yes. Any, who else raised your hands? I want to make sure. Riley. When my mom said, who said that? Literally yeah. all my friends make fun of me for that. Uh, Brooks. The thank you, I'm disengaging. Yes, classic. Um, does... Uh, oh, we got a question from Olivia L. They want to know, was there ever a scene or a story that you asked your mom to talk to production about cutting out of the show? Does anyone have a moment that you can remember asking production to cut out? No. Wow, this is I like... I feel like... Oh, Gia. The Coke thing with Jackie. Got it. Um... Yeah. You, what, who's, who started to talk? Brielle. Yeah, I feel like there's been certain scenes, not on Real Housewives, on Don't Be Tardy, that I think all of us kind of have asked to get taken out, but you know, you know how that goes. It doesn't really happen, so. Right, it doesn't really work. Um, well, there are two things that everyone knows about Jersey. One, the official state restaurant is Rails. And two, the family drama runs deep. So it's time for the Jersey kids to dig up some dirt around their family trees with let us tell you something about our families. Gia, what's your least favorite look that your mom has ever rocked on the show? 
Okay, so it's like the black dress with the peacock fur. Yes, I remember that. You know that one? I yeah. loved it. It was so know. Jersey. Alvy and Chris, <laughs> worst Italian meal your mom has ever cooked for you? Oh, I don't like, you know what? They do this olive sauce every Christmas and it ruins Christmas. I, don't I, wasn't, know, like, so I wasn't, I swear to you, I had the same thought, but I wasn't going to say uh, it. I, bring it. I wasn't I even going to say it. All the smoke. All but the smoke. that's, um, yeah, I mean, that that's probably the one, but yeah, not a big olive guy. Frankie, what's the best advice that you've ever gotten from Frank Sr.? Honestly, just keep going. My dad's gone through a lot recently and the guy just keeps going and uh, he's very inspiring. Gia, do you th which of your sisters do you think is your mom's favorite? Like, who could get away with the most? Melania, that kid could get away with murder. <laughs> Alvy and Chris, strictest rule your mom set for grow for you growing up that you broke constantly. Uh, there were uh, there was a couple, but uh, curfew, no, and we just didn't listen to it all. But then uh, there was a couple people she would like blacklist me. Like, you can't hang out with these kids. And I, I would be at their house every weekend the minute she said it. Was it, just, was, it was it Kim D's kids? No, <laughs> no, she loved John. John's a great kid. Do still. you ever see no, Kim no, D? Uh, no, no, I, I don't really see anyone anymore. We live in a different part of Jersey now. So. Oh, I didn't know that. Frankie, do you think that your mom and David will ever get married? Honestly, yes. I spent a lot of time with David, uh, especially living in his house over the summer when I signed for the GMAT. And we speak to him at night and I hear some things that nobody hears. Really? All yeah. right. Um, okay, I think, I think that's good. I think that's good. Um, well, Brooks, the women of Salt Lake have served some over-the-top looks. And much like a Brooks Marks tracksuit, I need you to pick out your tops and bottoms, okay? I'm going to show you some looks. If you like them, say fashion. If not, they're going in the trash, hon. What do you think of your mom's diamond mask from the finale? 100% fashion. It's so iconic. Mary's iconic Christmas tree dress at your mom's birthday fashion for sure it mary could not care less what anyone has to say about her clothes and she always works it uh lisa's reunion look with layers of self tanner i think that dress is so sick um and lisa knows that the tanner was a little bit overboard what about whitney's maroon reunion gown uh i think that was extremely flattering on her and she looks amazing. Uh, Heather in all white uh, with a fanny pack. Monochromatic is always so fire. Uh, Jen's green palm leaf suit. I think the top and pants are great. You don't like the shoes? Um, I'll give it to her. I think that's, that's a cool look for sure. What about your mom's pink feather sleeved uh, look? Anything Christian Cowan that she wears is always 100% fashion. Lisa's pink bolero. Fashion, I love the color on her. Uh, last up, your mom's gold suit from the reunion. Suit dress. I loved that dress because I felt like half of it said I'm engaging and the other half said I'm disengaging. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Um, <coughs> I guess before we go, I'm wondering if there's any, well, we got a question from Marge B wanting to know, how if having your parents um, be on TV affected the way people view you? Uh, for those of you who have gone to college, do people get to know the real you and have opinions on what, based on what they see of your parents? So anyone wanna take this? How, how having your parents affected you? Okay, a lot of you, uh, starting with Avery. So I transferred to University of Virginia and I remember like when I transferred to sororities, one of my friends later who became my roommate literally was like, I heard she's mean. I think there's a lot of negative connotations about being on reality TV and I like to prove people wrong and I feel like we're all a testament, like we're normal, like we turned out okay. And I think, yeah, that's really it. Noelle. 
I would say, like, being one of the few kids that was actually, like, filmed on my show going to college, it definitely made my experience a lot different and, like, just a little bit harder for me socially. And because I also feel like just not even in college, people just assume that you're, like, bougie or stuck up or, you know, and that's just really not true. So I definitely think it made it harder for me at college for sure. Um, Brianna. Sometimes it's hard as a nighttime ER nurse um, for people to come to the ER at 2.30 in the morning and see me as their nurse. And some people are a little shocked. And I have to remind them that this is my real job. And that's just something that my family did. Wow. Who else raised your hand? Did anyone else want to? Riley. Um, I think growing up, it was hard mentally due to a lot of hate. But in college, I mean, I feel like it kind of makes it easier. I try not to tell anyone that my mom's on TV because then it's kind of awkward for me. And then seeing the staff, like, notice you, especially when you're, like, just trying to go to class is very awkward. Um, okay. Oh, Noel. Okay, I just wanted to piggyback off of what she said. Like, even, like, I tried to get a job when I was in school and, like, people were noticing me and I actually got fired from the job because they were noticing me. It was actually a job at Nobu. And they're like, we don't want people noticing you at the job. That's not what it's about. And I'm like, oh, my God. Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. I hate to hear that. Sorry. Yeah. It was Um, hard. It was hard trying to be in finance. Like, I I feel like we all can relate in like our own way. Yeah. I think that we all just had to grow up really quick, honestly. Yeah. Exactly. By the way, if I knew you were going to be at Nobu, I'd go every night. I think that they, uh, (laughs) I think that they they missed. I think they missed out on that. Um, well, I still go like every oh week. So. Wow. Um, all right. I want to thank you all. Anyone else have anything else they want to get off their chest before I let you go? This is your this is your time to speak, Shane. It's a it's kind of cool to see all of this. I mean, Brianna and I. You know, we were eighteen. That was the the pilot was shot by our friend with our family and all of a sudden like seeing oh, what weird. it's become and all these lives that have been changed and prosper. It, it's, it's so cool to see, you know, I was 18. I feel like I was a kid. You guys were actually children. And it's, it's, it's really cool to see you guys grow up in this hour, little special here. Cause I didn't basically know anybody here. The funniest thing is, is I remember the ham on the cabinet. But I don't remember anybody else's show. But the ham, for some reason, like I pictured that. I don't know why. It's yeah, we have trouble getting away from that one too. It's it's very very it's really really memorable. I mean, it's yes, Noel. I just want to say like shout out to everybody here because like definitely growing up on TV is not really easy at all. And shout out to everybody for just being themselves and being able to you know find ways to flourish from all this and find the positives and everything. And nice to meet most of you guys also. Yeah. Yeah. No, seriously. (laughs) It's so nice to meet all of you. Like, I didn't even, I honest, like, I'm being honest. I didn't know half of your names. And, like, just seeing how we can all relate in, like, such a, like, common way. Like, it's it's really amazing. It's so interesting that that most of you skipped watching your parents' shows. Like, it's it's really, really wild. I never watched my mom. Yeah. I I do want to say. um, Never. (laughs) Yeah, Chris. Brianna, Brianna kind of like, um, she helped me a lot in the first season of Housewives. She would Facebook me all the time. I, I don't want you to think yeah. I forgot that. But <laughs> I said it yesterday. And she used to send me like the nicest stuff and just like talk about what we were doing. And then uh, kind of backing up what G said too. Like we all, um, none of us know each other really at all. I think I've had yeah. some small conversations with almost everybody, but um, in one way or another, but it's, it is, there's a weird kinship that that's uh, kind of like, yeah. we all know exactly. And it's weird to know exactly that, you know, how to grow up uh, on TV like that. So it's cool that we all have that with each other, uh, whether we knew it before this or not. Yeah, it was actually really- Yeah, I wish I, I wish we did this so long ago because I felt so alone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have so much respect for every single one of you because I have only been on TV for one year now. So I have no idea. I can't even fathom what it's like to grow up on TV. So all of you are so Well, they think that you have a lot of plastic surgery, you know. <laughs> 
growing up on TV, I've you don't realize that. that you look different when you're 10 years old to 24. I hope I look fucking different, all right? <laughs> Bleep. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my God. Classic. I mean... It's really, really great. I, I, it warms my heart. I hope you guys set up a big like group text chain or something when this is all over. Um, but I mean, I Shane, you, uh, you do bring up such an interesting point, though, because I mean, when you and Brianna, you know, you were living down the street from each other and you were just doing this kind of experiment, and look at what it has wrought. Yeah. It's, it's. Really, really wild. And I mean, Avery, you could get all these kids on Cameo, like, immediately. Oh, yeah. trust me, I was, I've already been working on behind the scenes. So right. I'm gonna reach out for those who aren't on it. Very, Wait, so, I, Andy, know, I, I know I got that, a question for you, Andy. Story. Yes, Shane, yeah. So we've all talked about, and we've seen our lives kind of unfold on camera. This has been, you know, 15, almost going on 20 years for you too. Like. What is it like sitting here? You know, you were the ones that did the interviews early on. I remember you come down to Orange County and sitting with all of us. Like, what is this like for you seeing all of us up here now in our like adult lives here? It's really, I have to say, it's really surreal. But I think the most thing about it is it really fills my heart out because honestly, you each are just really wonderful. And I'm so impressed and gratified that you all are doing such great things. And like, I mean, Cairo graduating Morehouse and um, Riley's at NYU. Like you got, I'm just really, really impressed. And you guys all just not only, and I'm really grateful also to all of you because, and it's part of the reason that, that you're all here. You each really enrich the shows that you were on. I mean, you each made the shows that you are on better, each one of you in your own way. And I'm really appreciative and grateful of that. Um, and I'm just so grateful that you all turned out okay. You know, I feel like, you know, reality TV, you know, it gets, it gets clumped into a lot of kind of negativity, but I think you all are, are really good examples of people who didn't let it go to your heads and you didn't, you know, you, you, you all stayed focused on, on whatever was important to you. And I think that that's really, really uh, wonderful. So thank you all and thank you for doing this. I mean, people have been so excited to see you all and um, hear from you. And I wish you all the very, very best and happy Mother's Day to your moms. And uh, I hope to see you all again really soon. For more, click in around person. bravotv.com, everybody, in person. You all have open invitations to I the clubhouse, it. obviously. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.